Okay, so what I'm trying to do is to show how you can incorporate Garretton Instant Orchestra within Ableton Live. So I've already um, loaded my plugins, which are here. I'm now going to move that to here. And that brings up the ARIA player. I want to get rid of these audio, so I just delete, delete. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in three instruments and just demonstrate how I can incorporate them. So I'm going to click on here and insert another MIDI track. I'm just going to drag that across. So we've got some uh, the three MIDI tracks in order. I'm now going to the ARIA player here and I'm going to, um, it doesn't matter which order I do it in, but I click on empty and I'm going to bring in, say, a keyboard sound. So it's going to be the super piano, which I can sound here. Right, I'm playing it off that keyboard, but I've actually got a um, a MIDI keyboard off screen which I'm also able to input sounds from. Okay, right, I'm going to the next one now. I'm going to bring in, um, let's just have some string sounds like sustain. Now if I hit that, it still plays the piano, but if I click on here now bring in the strings and I think just uh, as a contrast I'm going to now for the third one bring in the drums say so I'm looking for timpani so I've got some timpani so I click on that right so what I'm doing next now is I'm going across to the first MIDI track here and as I move down, where it says no, at MIDI 2, I'm going to go to there, the ARIA player, and I'm going to have the first track, which corresponds to the um, piano super light. And then at the top here, I'm going to rename that, so I'll just put in piano. Okay, that does that. Right, with the next one, I'm going to, once again, where it says no output, I'm going to put the ARIA player and I'm going to pick the second track. And um, just to click on the ARIA player again, the second track is the strings. So I'm just going to go back on here and rename that strings. Okay, so that's done that. And finally, I'm going to the third MIDI track and again it comes from the ARIA player and I'm going to have the third uh, MIDI track and this is for the, um, I'm going to click on the ARIA player, it's for the timpani which is basically going to be the drums, so I'll rename that um, drums. Okay, so that's everything in order now. So. If I go to the piano, I mean, as things stand, that sounds great. Um, I click on here and the piano. If I go to the strings and I load the Laria Aria player again, well, that's playing that. But if I do this, activated that now that plays the strings and finally if I go to the drums click on the ARIA player and I click on there so that little white patch comes up okay so I think we're all set up now so if I want to record I'm now going to move over I'm just going to play a few simple chords but just to demonstrate what I'm doing so I now go to the uh, that I think that's called the um, arrangement view in Ableton. I'm now going to the session view which is up here. Click on that 
and I'm going to activate the piano, which means it's going to record. Uh, there's going to be a lag because I've got to move across now to the keyboard. I hit that and it's now recording. So I'm going across to the keyboard, which you can't see, and I'm just going to play some simple chords. Okay, so I'm going to uh, stop that and uh, I can, uh, if I click on there, it now comes up down here and so if I wanted to I could edit these and I, I might as well just demonstrate how I'm doing that because it's fairly easy. I'm just going to very quickly and this is not at all sophisticated, so if I just drag across like that and then I quantize, it just tidies them up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like that, which I'm moving with my... Um, right, and do that. And then I now start to edit. Do that. Oh, don't want that. Delete that. Um, move those to there. I'm sure there's a quicker way of doing this. And then I do um, that, bring that. Oh, going all over the place. Um, I suppose what I'm doing is, uh, as I say, I'm going to. I'm demonstrating how you can. Uh, use Ableton, that's very quick in there, and although it's quantized, it hasn't quantized perfectly. That's the wind, very windy day today, and just tidying that up. For those who of course know what to do, this will be quite boring watching this, but it's useful to show it. You can just fast forward if you want. It just demonstrates how easy it is tidy things up. In fact I'm not going to spend too long messing about. Um, that's alright. Oh dear. Where was I before? Um, I was there wasn't I? So move that to there. Move that to there. Move that to there. Then finally, um, move that across to there, move that to there, I mean what this demonstrates again is how to use Ableton Live, um, bring those back, right okay so I've got that now. Um, and I can duplicate that by going back up here and I can do that and I can um, cut it and go back to the beginning, I think. No, I made a mistake here. So go to edit and undo clip. Um, I want to go right. I'll have a... I'll go to, to there. No, that still doesn't work. Oh, with it. Undo. Undo clip. Right. I'm just going to leave that at that for the moment. I'll play it back. Now, I suppose I've got two alternatives. One is I could try and um, bring in the string sounds um, in the background against that. So I'm going to just try that, but I'll be hopeless at doing this now. I've got to get back to the... Uh... Well, that, that was a bit of a faux pas, wasn't it? Because the strings didn't kick in until then. So if I just want to play the strings back and listen to those, I'll put it on solo. It's a real dog's dinner.
Well, the easiest thing is to scrap all that, go delete, and then just copy this down. Copy, I'll do it there. Paste, I'll delete that, delete that. So if I want to just play the strings, go back to here. Or I could play all two together. And if I wanted to, go to the arrangement view, I could make the strings kind of make them quieter. Well, that's interesting, I'm not sure how to do that. Right, so. Um, well, I could do the drums if I go back on the drums, final track. Um, I could, I suppose, just copy all that again, just do that, paste, because they're all synchronised. If I just play the drums solo and go back to here, it's only playing certain notes. So what I could do is I could do that, so I could alter the sound. Um, here I could have the strings softer, bring them all down a bit. I can alter the sound, but I'm just editing that. And then we play all three together. Well, I'm not sure if that's been all that helpful, but in a sense what it's done is it's demonstrated how to incorporate Aria Player um, instant orchestra within Ableton and how to do a very simple recording and then because you can play around I mean I could easily have um, done a separate recording for each of the three channels um, that's it